Hello and welcome to Eskay in the beautiful spa town of Leamington Spa here in Warwickshire. I'm here today to speak to Amy Selby, Managing Director of this multi-award winning uh, day spa and beauty salon and to get her views on uh, hydrothermal, its usage in her business and to find out uh, how she makes everything work. Now it's been our great privilege at Hydrotherm to have worked with Amy and her team of therapists since uh, early 2005 and I'm delighted to report that we continue to work with her today. So uh, let's now go and meet Amy. Can I begin by just asking you a little bit about the history of working with us? How did you find us and how did you make your decision to start to work with us? Oh, well, thank you, John. Yes, of course you can ask me that. Um, we basically always like to look at um, new concepts within the industry, and although I'm aware that Hydrotherm had been around before we took it on, um, it came into our uh, radar, if you like, um, end of 2004, beginning of 2005. And we had a client and colleague uh, called Jackie Mexon who actually came and introduced us to the system. Um, it was fantastic to see, um, and having experienced a treatment, I could really see the benefits it would give to clients and to staff as well. So we were thrilled to find it. So can you just explain a little bit about how the system's used in your business? Because I think you're a little bit unusual in the decisions that you made um, in, in terms of, uh, of how many treatment couches you have it on and the levels that you have with your therapist trained to. Absolutely. So we have um, uh, 12 different treatment rooms here in the salon and um, nine of those are um, therapy couch rooms, so not including tanning and things like that. Um, and on every single one of those beds we have a hydrotherm system installed. So we made that um, choice to have that, not only because we could deliver the fantastic hydrotherm massage on those couches, but because uh, we chose to leave them on the beds and that whatever treatment the client was experiencing, be it waxing or electrolysis or a pedicure, they were actually enveloped by the warmth of the cushions, they would get the relaxation, there isn't a day goes by I don't have a client who might come in for a non-relaxing treatment who gets on the bed and goes, oh, this is just wonderful. And we wanted to replicate that in all of our treatment rooms. So the decision to install hydrotherm onto all of your treatment couches, that, uh, that was quite a big commitment in both time and finances. I'm interested to understand why you came to that decision immediately from the start. Well, for us, we're fortunate enough that the business, we've been in business for a long time, since uh, 1998, and so the cash flow was there to allow us to do it, and that obviously always helps. Um, but also, um, I think if you're going to do it, you do something properly, um, and we didn't want a varying customer journey, so we wanted every customer who came in to have the same um, benefits in each treatment room. Um, so having the hydrotherm um, couch on the treatment couches, sorry, having the hydrotherm um, pads on the treatment couches was so so important to us um, that they said there was a uniformity there um, and something that the, every client would benefit from regardless of treatment. Amy, I know that running a successful business uh, you need many and quite diverse skill sets uh, uh, to move forward and uh, you've been in business a long time. Would you mind just sharing the top two or three tips that you have actually put into place things that you've done uh, to make your business work. Of course, I said over the years I've accumulated a lot of uh, a lot of information, um, and it's quite hard putting those into a top two or three. Um, but I think if I had to, I would say um, choosing a really good team and then growing and developing that team. So continuing the training, which we've just touched on anyway, um, not just specific treatment training, but also growing personal skills um, and um, just. Not, not stopping investing um, in your team and yourself, very important. Um, my next tip would possibly be, no, would definitely be working with really good um, suppliers, um, both product suppliers and um, treatment uh, and equipment suppliers. Um, I said if you've got uh, a company that you don't work well with or aren't there to support you, um, that's, just, that's just not an option for us. I said you've got to have a good relationship with your suppliers. Um, and Finally, it doesn't sound very fluffy for a salon, but a really good strategy and forward thinking. I said, remember to work on your business, not always in your business. If you can get the balance of the two, that is perfect. But we all strive for the balance, and that's the hardest part. So those would be probably my, my top tips. Great tips, thank you. 
Amy, thank you very much indeed once again for giving up your time and especially for being such a wonderful ambassador uh, to hydrotherm and the industry in Senna. Such a fantastic example. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you, John.